everybody. Today's lesson is going to be transmission and engine sounds of these trucks. Oh, really, the Freightliner. I'm, I'm, I'm rolling in. Okay, so first, you know what? I got to go change something because I didn't change it. I got to change those lights. Because, see, on the Freightliner at Walmart, they do not have LED. They have these lights. But I don't think those lights going to stay this oh. Object to hold on. First, let me take you out of this. We're going to take you out of this because I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to show y'all something here. Okay. First of, this is the sound I'm using. Detroit, Detroit Diesel DD Series stock sound. This is the first sound that you're going to hear with me driving. Nothing else is on. No other sounds on. These are just companies and stuff. This is off and this is off. I gotta work and see what this does. So right now we're gonna listen to this sound. I want y'all to listen to it and tell me what you think. And tell and I'm gonna leave a uh, uh, a link to a what the really Freightliner truck sounds like because I finally found one that has deep real sound of it. So here we go. We're gonna go to it. And I'm gonna drive around the block. I'm gonna go around the block in the truck and I want y'all to listen to it. I'm out the window down. Another thing, let's go to something else. I gotta show something else too because of that. Because of that, okay. For one, my engine is DD15505, so that's what's in the engine. That you know, if you drive a Freightliner in real world, they only have DD15, uh, DD15 in these Freightliners. So I want people to remember that. I know people put these Cummings. Oh, let me say this. DD15, and you can put a um, X15 in the Freightliner. They, these two are real. This is realistic. This is realistic. Yes, you can. They do put um, Cummings in a Freightliner, but they mostly use DD15 in Freightliners. And DD13 for the day cap. So this is what's in this truck. Now, transmission, I am using a... I'm going to have to show that mod, because this is off of a, a mod. But, I'm going to show you this. You put D12, that is the real transmission for Freightliners. And, and it, for Freightliners, it's mostly D, diesel, Detroit Diesel D12. But when I went to the website, you could put an Allison in it, but there's no 12, there's no 12 speed Allison on in this game for some weird reason. And you can put a um, Eaton. Now, Eaton is stick shift. Freightliners do, do have um, eight, this is 12, 13 to 18 speed shifting. But that's Eaton. That's an Eaton uh, uh, shifting. That's, that's Eaton because the Detroit D12 is automatic. So here's the, the two DI. Ah, here's are the two transmissions that come with the game, right? But what I have is this so if I put let me tell you this if I put this in you hear like this turbo sound this tss, tss, if I use this in this and Freightliners don't make that sound they don't make that tss, when you're driving it tss, it, don't, it don't make that sound so I there's no way to try to stop that sound so these are the stock um, these are the stock uh, transmissions so that's why you see these transmissions down here and I'm using these because of taking that sound out 
this this is real mercedes da daimler christ daimler chrysler is freightliner and uh these are their transmissions and stuff like that so yeah let's go and listen to the sound i'm gonna go around the block in the truck this is the first sound of what it sounds like Back in the trailer, barely hear your engine. Real life. Now, we gotta change, we gotta do some changing now. Okay. Let me see. Do I need 
to come back in here before we go somewhere else. No, we're going to leave this here. We don't never change this engine. Don't mess with the engine. You know, so we're going to leave this here because, like I said, if you use the, the um, stock engine, these are two of the stock engines that comes with the game, you hear that tss, tss when you're driving. And plus, with the engine sound that I'm using, this stock, this stock um, doesn't change anything to the sound. It doesn't change anything. Now we're going somewhere else. We are going somewhere else. We're going to change the sound out now. See, you didn't even hear me turn it off. Look at that. Okay, we're going to a different sound now. Okay, we're going to turn this off. And we're going to cut the crease bomb sound on now. I like to bring it down to where the sounds are. Right here. Sounds. And uh, anyway. Okay. Now. See, it makes me restart. So, boom. That's good. Where is that though? Here we go again. We're, we we restart. Okay, so now we got to go back in. Click on this. Now, this is creech bomb sound. You hear what I'm saying? Creech bomb. Transmission. This transmission does not work very. Does not work on uh, creech bomb. I mean, yeah, it works sound wise. Yes, but I'm gonna show you something. Don't use this on creech bomb. I'm telling you now. Don't use that. You have to use the stock stock transmission on crease bomb. So we gotta set that. Okay. That. And now we get in the truck. We get in the truck. Alright. Let's turn the power on. Uh, I like to fuck with the uh that. Oh, you know what I did wrong? I have to restart this whole game over. That's why there's no sound. So, what I got to do, I have to go to this and really start. The, you have to start your game completely over if you use that creech bomb sound. So you have to close this out. Okay, and now I got to restart the game. Okay, so we on the crease bombs now. We're not on this no more. We on this. So now you have to re to, to use this to make the sounds and everything. You have to restart your game. When you go, if you turn this off and on, you have to restart your game. Remember that your game has to be restarted all over. Still, you know. So okay. And when 144 comes, I'll make the video of what's what and what's not working when that time comes. Y'all know I'll do that. Let's see, can I get there this way? <laughs> Let's see, first of the truck will start. <laughs> Transmission looking like. Let's see if we got the stock transmission. Yeah, I do. Okay, so that's that. It's like that. Okay, stock transmission. Crease bomb. Remember that. 
dock transmission. First of all, now let's take a look around the block, and I'm gonna show you some different sounds of what his does. <laughs> But, uh, like I said, the engine's still on. 
Kinda like, what sound do I really like more? Uh, for realistic sounds, uh, Creech Bomb does do it, but that other engine really kinda makes it, makes it like the truck is real. But I think the, the D Detroit Diesel sound stock might be coming from an older Freightliner instead of the newer Freightliners. That's what I'm thinking. That's what that engine sound, stock engine is from. It's from an older Freightliner, not the newer model. Like like I said, 15, 16, 17 model, that's where he might be, have gotten his sound from. He must have not could have gotten it from the newer model Freightliner. Um, let me see here because I need to look at the transmission. So that was in the stock. Creech Bomb, stock. Now, Let's say I want to get out of this, and I'm going to show you something. Push D12 for Detroit. Now, the thing that you won't hear is that eh, 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 if you use this transmission. You use this transmission, you ain't getting that sound. That eh, 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 eh. no, it doesn't. It, his his uh, transmission sound. I mean, his uh, engine sounds. They work, but they don't bring everything with this transmission. This is Galman's. Uh, yeah, I think it's Galman's. Um, the one who make the Volvo, that Volvo VNL A60. That's this is his mod. So, um, so um, yeah, he the one who makes that sound. Uh, um, what else is there? Oh, let me let me go back for a second. I'm gonna show you guys something for a second. Okay, transmission. If you ever use Galman's transmission, you have to keep transmission in the truck if you don't have no kind of transmission in the truck his i'll show you hold on i got to go to it i'll go to it hold on all right i'm gonna show you something because I thought it didn't work, but it worked. This does really work. Problem with this is, you have to already have transmission in your truck. So this does not crash. Any other transmissions that's in your truck, okay. So this doesn't, because this is a lot of transmissions for Daimler and for Freightliners. So you keep this on, but you have to have transmission already in the truck. Let me show you something. Let me show you why. I know this is crazy. show you where it crashes. I'm going to show you guys where it shit crashes. American Truck Simulator. Okay, here we go. Let's say you're already inside this truck, but let's say you want to up and you've upgraded that, that Walmart truck. Okay, uh, I want to upgrade all my trucks the same way as the Walmart truck. Like this one here. I click this and this okay 
Because why? The transmission is already in this truck. So it won't crash. So I can change it to any other transmission. As long as there's some kind of transmission in this truck, it won't crash. I don't know if I put the stock transmission in it and then come back to do this one. I don't know. I haven't tried that yet. But it'll crash if you have no type of transmission. Now, if you have the stock transmission and you're trying to upgrade to this transmission I don't know it might it might crash I don't you have you guys have to try if it crashes that means you have to manually drive the truck to the dealer to fix it to train the transmission so you have to manually get into the truck drive it and change it so here's what I'm going to do I am going back here and I am going to cut this one off I'm gonna still use this one and I, sometimes it depends on what mood I mean I might use this one but for right now I'm, I'm be using this one I'll leave, leave the link two links the sound of a real Freightliner and the link to this one if anybody want to really use this so um, you know all the transmissions well, no, because the stock engine makes that sound if you use this one. But the Galman, Galman transmission doesn't do that. So that's why you have to use their Galman's transmission on this. If you're not trying to hear that tss, tss, every time you drive tss, sound. Let's do this. see what it did it restarted it so now okay so now we do this okay see then we're back so now, what I do is I change my, take my transmission out. Or, it, nope, it's already set. Because I loaded, I saved it where it is, so where I don't have to do anything. Engine's still the same. Transmission's the same. So, there you go. So, now, again, let's go around the block. One more last trip around the block so you can see what I'm dealing with.
Man, I'm thinking about changing my pedal. I don't know, because I had one of my drivers say that uh, that I follow. Said that, it, that it, when he touches the, the gas in the real freight liner, it's real sensitive. So I'm trying to make sure I do that. the whole video so you can learn on engines and transmissions and good sounds that's it